What's up YouTube? Big Daddy here. It's time for another food review. Okay, so today we just left the McDonald's. We picked up a few items in here that will combine to make yet another secret menu item that you guys have requested. Uh, every time I do one, someone says, you should do this. And I do another video, you should do this. So we are going to do the, I believe it's called the Air, Land, and Sea Burger. The Air, Land, and Sea Burger. So we're gonna put it together because they were busy and I didn't want to try to make get them to make it. So let's pull the camera back and do a close up and put this thing together and then we're gonna eat it. So on my tray here, I've got a Big Mac. In this box, I've got a filet. Oh, there's a fry in there. <laughs> Free fry for me, yay. We got a filet from a filet of fish Sorry about that. And come on. Play nice. A chicken patty. All right, guys. So the Airland and Sea Burger <clears throat> is a combination of uh, either a Big Mac or a McDouble. We've got the Big Mac. A filet of fish patty. And a chicken patty. Now, I suppose I could have ordered my Big Mac plain. But I did not, just to make things simpler and quicker. So uh, we need to combine these things to make the burger that we want to eat. Shot of all three together there. So give me one second and we're gonna put it together right about there now. it is. There is our air, land, and sea burger. In the Big Mac box, you can see the Big Mac meats, and all the other accoutrement that comes with the Big Mac. And there's that chicken patty and the filet of fish patty all coming together to make the air, land, and sea burger. Air being the chicken, land being the beef, and sea being the fish. Air, land, and sea, get it? It's amazing. You had the 1035 burger that had a meaning. Air Land and Sea also has a meaning. So we're gonna put this camera back to where it's supposed to be, and we are gonna try to stuff this huge monstrosity Frankenburger in our pie hole. All right, guys. This thing is enormous. Air, land, and sea burger. I want you guys to see. This is like six inches tall. That is insane. Wow. That is a beast. So, here we go. This is the Airland and Sea Burger. You guys asked for it. I'm going to do it. Let's do this. I feel like a snake unhinging my jaw. <laughs> a bit messy. Probably would have been less messy if I got it plain. One of the benefits of being of it being plain, but there you go. It's actually quite tasty. It's not too bad. Hmm. But I will say it is a hot mess. <laughs> mm. This thing is big enough for a family of four. It's huge. You can cut this in four pieces and everybody can have a little light lunch. It is a beast. The interesting thing, I gotta get an napkin about McDonald's food. The filet of fish 
and a chicken sandwich. Man, I'm wearing it. They're not exactly super crunchy. It's not a chicken patty that's got a ton of crunch. And maybe if I would have got this um, plain, I'm going to try to eat it upside down. Get the chicken first, or the fish first. That would be the land, sea, and air burger. <laughs> but uh, it, everything is kind of all the same texture. There's no differentiating factors here. It's not like you bite into one and it's like, oh, that's crunchy. It's really not. You can see here all the flakiness of the fish. You see the white chicken. You see the beef in there. It's actually kind of a good burger. I like it a lot. It's just so big and messy. I think the next time I get one of these, I may try it again. But this time try and try it with a McDouble. Because they say you can use a McDouble as well. Would probably be a little cheaper too. So speaking of money and cheapness, let's look to see what the price is. Okay, so the Big Mac itself is about five bucks. A filet of fish patty on its own is $1.75. That's kind of crazy. I mean, you saw the size of that patty. It wasn't real big. Ooh. I will say this. After I've eaten about half of this thing, that um, McChicken patty, which is a dollar, by the way. And I think you can just get a McChicken for a dollar. So really, I'm kind of getting <laughs> screwed there. But the McChicken patty has that peppered seasoning to it. And all of a sudden, I'm getting kind of a little, light, not, 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 don't get me wrong, it's not spicy by any stretch, but a light burning in the back of my throat from that pepper. Definitely, definitely kind of a nice surprise. So you're talking $6.79, $7.79 for the air, land, and sea burger at McDonald's if you ordered it the way I did with a Big Mac, a filet of fish patty on the side, and a McChicken patty on the side. Um, so there you go, $7.79. For a big burger, it's not too bad. This is kind of a mess though. So how would I rate it? Well. I would say, flavor-wise, it's good. It's okay. Um, as far as enjoyment, well, eating it goes, it's kind of a mess. You know, it's not fun to eat. It's not a fun item to sink your teeth into. Um, I'm not a... A huge fan. This is over there. There's onions and little chunks of stuff everywhere. I'm not a huge fan of man, I gotta get these onions. Off of the Big Mac. So it's not my favorite thing to eat. Um price wise, it's okay. It's a big burger, you're adding a lot of stuff to it. So seven seventy nine is not too outrageous. You're not, they're not out of bounds with that. So on a scale of one to ten, I think I'm gonna give the Air Land and Sea Burger a seven, seven out of ten. It's okay for a gag or for a joke. No, it's kind of fun. You know, it's not something I would do every day. And frankly. There are better things on McDonald's menu, just straight off the menu, that are more enjoyable to eat. A bacon Big Mac would be one. A bacon quarter pounder, bacon quarter pounder with cheese, 
um, a crispy buttermilk chicken. They're tenders. I mean, they're, they're they're all, and they're probably better priced too. So, that being said, seven out of ten on the air, land, and sea burger. I hope you guys like this secret menu item. If you guys like these secret menu items and food hacks, please hit like, share this video, and subscribe. If you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos I make. And uh, if you uh, also like this, please tell all your friends to come over to Big Daddy's World and hang out. Um, I got a Patreon channel. I got a PayPal link if you guys feel so inclined that you want to help me buy more food so I can stuff it in my pie hole and tell you about it. If you don't, that's cool too. Uh, YouTube does a little. <laughs> So there you go. So that being said, I thank you for watching. And remember, before you take the first bite, you got to stuff it in your pie hole. Hot mess. <laughs>